Hey coaches. So today we're going to be looking at how to debrief an assessment, whether it's MBTI or um, DISC, Enneagram, a 360, whatever it might be. The, the overall attitude and approach is going to be the same. And so debriefing an assessment is a critical skill of any coach, especially since in many corporate sponsored coaching engagements, every company will have their own personality assessments, or not every company, many companies will have their own personality assessments, their own 360s, their own, um, you know, uh, maybe it's a performance evaluation that is taken on a uh, quarterly basis, whatever it might be, you, you are going to in, in, interact, encounter various assessments that a client may send over to you. And it's important to be able to debrief whatever that is, rather than having to feel like the expert in the room with the assessment. So let's get right to it. How do you debrief an assessment? Number one is make sure that you are wearing two hats in the process. Hat number one is a facilitator hat. And this is where as much as you can, you contribute what you understand about the assessment and your perspective on that assessment. This is stepping aside from the coaching approach and it would sound like this. So as we get into this, put the hat on of pretending to be a coach. So as we get into debriefing your assessment here, I just wanted to clarify, I'm gonna go into a bit of a facilitator mode real quick. So facilitator hat on, this is how this assessment works. And this is some of the insights from the assessment as I read them and how they might apply to what we've talked about as your coaching goals. Now, that's enough for me though. I'm gonna take my facilitator hat off, put my coaching hat back on. How is all of this sitting with you? What do you make of some of the insights I just shared with you? What are you most interested in exploring with this assessment? How do you see all of these things that are surfacing related to what you want to accomplish with our coaching arrangement? As you look at these 360 uh, open-ended feedbacks from your team members, what of these strengths most stick with you? What are the weaknesses or areas of development do you feel most apply to what you want to accomplish? All of these types of questions are helping look at the assessment together and not leveraging the coach as an expert. For a very short time, the coach can uh, share any expertise they have around the content of the assessment, how it works, how to interpret the results, what the results of this individual might, um, might allude to or might represent, but not being, overly, like, not being heavy handed with it. This is the coach's perspective on the data that's presented by the assessment. Now let's go into coaching mode and ask open questions to help the client interpret the results for themselves because the expert about the application of the assessment and how it really is going to impact long-term behavior change and what it's going to mean in the long-term, the expert for that stuff is the client. They are the one that needs to truly interpret the results. The coach is there to facilitate that process of self discovery, not be the, the person offering the diagnosis or uh, the expert in the room who is uh, pr providing the truth about who this person is and who they are going to become. Those are going to be insights that are generated through the coaching questions around the assessment. I would like everybody who is going through the training to make sure to take like a DISC and an Enneagram assessment and to look up some of the resources, essentially just like a Wikipedia page on each of those assessments, to get an idea of what are the main, uh, main concepts, the main types, categories that can come from those two assessments at least, and to be ready to practice one or the other in session. Now what this is simulating is what it's like to be sent an assessment through a uh, corporate sponsored coaching training program or in connecting with an organization, they're like, hey, can you work with us on our in-house assessment? And you briefly take a look at what the details are, set, you know, set up some of your own uh, questions you might ask around that assessment and look at, you know, as we do the practice in session, look at some of the results of this other person and be ready to share some of your own insights on their assessment. So. That's how to generally debrief any assessment. Become as much of an expert as you can without worrying about being the expert on the content and share some of your insights and how you understand, you interpret this assessment. But then most importantly, 
take that facilitator or debriefer hat off, put the coach hat on, and to ask questions about what the person, the client, is learning about themselves and how they want to apply all of these insights to their own lives. I hope this is helpful. And thank you for tuning in here today. Thank you for coaching and being a part of this learning experience.